Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today, it's more game ideas. And today, however, I don't have a case, I don't have fans, <laughs> but Game Diaz sent me a desk. And to think this was sent to me by Game Diaz is just unbelievable, so once again, thank you Game Diaz for everything you've done for me. Hopefully, I helped your company, um, there's really no promises on that though. Anyway guys, I know it's been a while with occasional uploads, and by occasional, I mean like once every two months or so. I know that's not as much as I should be doing, but I've been really busy with things like school and school-related things that I just really haven't found the time. Uh, I still have a ton of good videos from Christmas that I'm still trying to upload, so stay tuned for those. I will have more time soon, hopefully. So I'm just trying to get those up, and once I do, I think my channel will pretty much be back in action, I hope, because my views are just going like that. All right, so let's get into the desk review. So we'll start off with the boring stuff, like specs. First of all, I just want to say the desk does look really nice. However, it does really shout gamer. So this is probably not the desk you'd want for your office or a clean and simple productivity setup. However, if you are a gamer, I really think you'll appreciate the look and feel. It is marketed as a gaming desk. After all, the desk is constructed out of a durable steel frame and it feels really sturdy while in use. However, the desk only comes in two color combinations. You can get black and red or just black. So just to get this out of the way, you're probably not going to want to buy the desk unless it's the color scheme you're going for. A black and red desk doesn't look really good in a black and blue setup. The desk is 60 inches long, 26 inches in width, and has a height of 30 inches. For me anyways, I feel like this is a little bit short. The reason I think this is because if you wanted to use dual 24 inch monitors or an ultra wide monitor like I'm using, it's really hard to fit everything on the desk. And if you do manage to fit dual monitors, your PC would most likely have to be on the floor. You can still make an awesome setup out of that though. A cool feature about this desk is that it comes with an entire waterproof mouse pad that covers the entire desk. I mean, if you don't feel like buying a mouse pad, then this is great. Even if you do feel like buying a mouse pad, though, the one included allows you to have what feels like an infinite amount of space when you're using the mouse, since you have the entire desk space, pretty much. This is especially good when playing on low sensitivity because of all the space you're gonna need. Even though I love how Game Diaz includes a mouse pad with the desk, I'm not using it. This is because the desk isn't the widest I've ever used, and to save room for my peripherals, I decided to mount the monitor, which would squish the mouse pad with the clamp. I know I could put the mouse pad over the clamp, but I figured that wouldn't really look great. However, without the mouse pad, I have found the desk does collect a lot of dust and can scratch really easily. Just another reason to use the mouse pad. So, since this desk is supposed to be a gaming desk, it should have some features that other desks probably don't, right? It does. A really cool one that I've never seen on a desk before, and actually didn't think I'd ever see, is a water bottle holder. I really like this because I always have water when I'm at the computer, so now I don't have to use a coaster on my desk, so I just got coasters for nothing. In a way, I think this even promotes gamers to have water with them while they game the entire day. So it's convenient and saves lives. On the other side of the desk, there's also a headphone holder. These are also switchable, so if you want the water bottle holder on the other side and the headphone hanger on that side, then it's gonna work. And this is just another convenient feature that also saves money, so you don't have to buy an extra headphone hanger like I did for my setup. I guess I'm not gonna need it anymore. And the list of gamer-like features just goes on. Under the desk, you'll find a massive net covering almost the entire length of the desk just for cable management. Well. Not such cable management, but more a place to shove your cable so your setup looks cleaner. A tactic I used for this makeshift setup. I think this feature relates to gamers because they seem to never want to take the time to actually cable manage, so their setups look pretty bad. At least now they'll look better. As well as the net, there's also a power strip holder that'll just make cable management even easier. However, it's fairly small, and if you're using a large power strip, it won't really fit. I do love the idea, though. Okay, so... Now I'm going to talk about the thing that I would say makes the entire desk. And that, in my opinion, is the RGB lighting. 
yes, you do need to plug in your desk. So along the sides of the desk, there are two RGB strips that in poor lighting look really bright. However, if the light in the room is on, it won't be really easy to notice them. You can see behind the light strips are on the side, but you can just barely notice them on the wall and then that side, well, the PC is covering it because they're just not bright enough to see. What I wish they could have done since the theme of the desk seems to be make it useful in as many ways as possible and stop you from spending extra money on things that could go on the desk. What I would have done is put a light strip behind the desk so you don't have to buy an extra USB strip light for the back. This is why I didn't bother putting one there, and I really think it takes away from the setup. I kind of miss having lights behind my monitor. Before the lights will work, like I said, you'll have to plug them in. They plug in via USB-A to your PC or to a USB hub. They can be controlled with three buttons on the desk's surface. Although, if you are using the mouse mat that comes included, it'll be covering those buttons. I think if they had added the buttons on the side of the desk, like the lights, they would be a little bit easier to access. Anyways, there's one button to turn the strips on or off, one to switch between the 15 different built-in lighting effects, which I'll go over later, and one to make the effects speed up or slow down. Unfortunately, you can't control these effects online or make new ones due to the lack of GameDia's software. I'm not saying I don't like the built-in lighting effects, I just think customization would be great. Just another thing that I think is worth mentioning, it would be really difficult to mount a boom arm on the desk because of the supports on the side. The only place you'd really be able to do it would be on the back of the desk, which can lead your mic to be at an awkward angle. This is just another feature that I think was slightly overlooked, because most gamers will tend to have boom arms where they can mount their mic when they're streaming or just talking to someone. So to wrap it up, the things I like are the cable management net, the power strip holder, and the inclusion of the cool features like the water bottle holder, headphone hanger, and desk sized mouse mat. The things I don't particularly enjoy is how the light strips are on the side, the fact that the desk is just a tad small, and that there's really nowhere to store anything besides the desk's surface. I mean, again, it is a gaming desk. Okay guys, so now I'm just gonna roll a clip of uh, all the different lighting effects, 15 of them, and then sped up and slowed down. So if you wanna skip over this and go right to the outro, skip to this number. So anyway guys, that is going to bring this video to a close. That's going to be it for my thoughts and opinions on the desk. I do really like it. There are a couple things that could be fixed, but overall it's a great desk. So I think if you think you're a serious gamer and you really want to enhance your gaming performance, this is definitely the product for you. But of course, I want to know your opinion. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Whatever your thoughts are, just comment them down below. I do actually reply to every single comment, so if you comment, you are guaranteed a reply. This is just until I get way too many comments that it takes me an hour to reply to all of them, which will probably never happen, so for now, or for always, I'll reply to your comment. Anyway guys, that is going to wrap it up for the video. If you enjoyed, please make sure you subscribe, and after that, turn the post notifications on. If you really enjoy the video, you can even leave a like. If you do leave a like, this shows me that you do like reviews or content like this, and I will do more. The more likes I get, the more I feel like it's important to make these videos. I still have a lot of those videos to upload from Christmas, like I said. So anyway, stay tuned for those, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.